Hey, hey everyone, it's me Waddles, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a bee farm, and I'm also going to walk you through a little bit of my thought process when creating this bee farm. This bee farm build is a fully automatic one. That means you set this up somewhere in your world, maybe near your base, and it'll be running and harvesting either honeycombs or honey bottles, whichever one you'd like. The build is fairly compact, which is also pretty nice, but with all of that being said, keep in mind that bees are still new. This is actually being recorded in the 19W40A snapshot, so maybe something will change in the future, and if that does happen, I'll be sure to leave a pinned comment down below this video saying, the farm doesn't work, here's a better farm, or something like that. If the video helps you out, drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. So today we're going to do something new that I've actually never done in a tutorial before. If you're here for only the tutorial, there's a timestamp in the description. Go down there and just skip to the tutorial. First, the process. How did I come up with this bee farm? So here's the actual bee farm that I'm going to show you how to build, but over here I guess is bee farm version 1, bee farm v1. This was my initial thinking. Dispensers harvest beehives. I figured that I could place an observer observing a beehive, then on top of that I could run a redstone wire over to a block, and then below that block have a dispenser. As soon as there's a block state change on the beehive, the dispenser would be powered and the thing would work. Below it all would be a hopper to pick up the item as soon as it is harvested. But there was a big, big flaw with this design. When the dispenser harvests the beehive, it does not always throw the honeycombs down into the hopper. The honeycombs were being thrown all around this flowery area, and that's a, that's a no-go. That's not good at all. So that means I needed to come up with a brand new collection system, and that's where minecart hopper rail thing <laughs> uh, comes into play. So, though this farm does technically work, it is not entirely reliable when it comes to picking up drops. You can't really surround the beehive with blocks to force honeycombs down into the hopper because then bees actually can't get into the thing and that's also the big problem. Bees need to be able to access their home for this farm to work. So now the actual build itself. I took pretty much the same redstone contraption and then put a minecart hopper collection system down below it and the thing works flawlessly. This is the build that I'm showing you how to build. So the materials, what do you need to build this thing? And the top of the chest are exact amounts, meaning you will need one observer, one dispenser, and so on. The specific flower type also does not matter so long as it is a small flower. That means you could use poppies, dandelions, oxeye daisies, whatever you'd like. Kind of straightforward here, but you'll need to be planting flowers on something, so you'll probably need some dirt or grass blocks as well. In the middle here, I have either shears or glass bottles. So that really is up to you. Do you want to collect bottles of honey from this thing or do you want to collect honey combs from this thing? If you want honey combs, get shears. If you want honey bottles, grab a lot of glass bottles, maybe like a stack. You'll also need some building blocks for this build and three Minecraft bees. Building blocks are in not exact amounts. The block doesn't matter. Bees, exact amount, you, you'll need to find three. We'll build our bee farm right here. You can build this bee farm under the ground, on the surface, way up in the sky, it does not matter at all. Start by placing a beehive. Facing into that beehive, you will need a dispenser. That means the dispenser side with like the face should be looking at the beehive. After that, place an observer looking down at the beehive on top of the beehive. To the side of that, on top of the dispenser, place a building block and then two redstone dust on top to cap that all off. That's the redstone machine. That's actually it when it comes to redstone. So if you hate redstone, uh, good news. You don't have to do any more. Now surround this whole area with some grass blocks and then plant some flowers on it. Again, any flowers are going to work so long as they are the small one high flowers. Don't use the two high flowers. Now we need to actually box this whole build in with some sort of building block. You could use glass to see into it or you could just use solid blocks. It doesn't really matter so long as you are using solid building blocks. You should end up building basically a rectangle that is five blocks high in total. Your ceiling should be one block above the redstone, so as close to the redstone as you can get. Before you close this thing up entirely, you should definitely place either shears or glass bottles inside of your dispenser. Pick whichever one you'd like. Technically, you can build this box even higher, but there's really no need to do that, so I wouldn't really bother with that. You should end up with something that kind of looks like this, basically a box with the machine sitting in the middle. Now we need to set up a collection system below this thing, and that's actually pretty easy to do. 
To do this, start by clearing out an area one block below your farm that is one block high, just like what I have here. Now on the front side, any side will do, you'll need a chest for collection. Going into that chest, you need a hopper, so make sure the hopper faces into the chest just like that there, that will be perfect. Now we need to run some rails all over this thing. I recommend running the rails kind of like what I did over here. We'll have one long stretch on the back and then basically a bunch of curves in the middle. It's very important that your track is one, a continuous loop, and two, actually goes under each and every block. Somewhere in this thing, you'll want to place two powered rails and power them somehow. You can power them with a lever, with a torch, whatever you'd like to do. Make sure your powered rails are not right next to your hopper, otherwise your hopper is going to lock. After all of this has been done, the last thing that you need to do here, for the setup at least, is get a hopper minecart running on this thing. I advise that you place it on the corner, remove a corner block, push the thing, and then place your corner block back. Your minecart should go forever in a loop. Now you'll need to go out into your world and find three Minecraft bees or two if you'd like to just breed some bees inside of the thing. Hold a flower and you can actually control the bees movement, they'll follow you. With the flower in hand, go over to your farm, probably like make a door or something, go inside and the bees should be able to follow you inside of the farm. After the bees are inside of it, you should get out and close the bees inside. If you only have two, go ahead and breed them up so you have a third one inside of the build. Don't forget to place either shears or glass bottles inside of your dispenser and after you do that you are actually 100% done so now you just need to be patient the bees will go in and out of their home do their whole bee dancing on the flower thing and you'll be able to happily and safely collect your honey or honeycombs right from your collection chest on its own, this farm may not be insanely productive, but if you build like maybe three or four of these next to each other, uh, in no time you should have more honeycombs and honey bottles than you would ever need. But as of right now, that is how you build an automatic bee farm. If you liked the video, do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe, and if anything changes, if this thing breaks, I will be sure to update a pinned comment with some extra information. If you love what I do, consider becoming a patron for some cool benefits or just pick up some merch so you look cool. I'd like to send a special thank you to my patron, Spaghetti Dude, today. My name is Waddles, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.